just uh, we have the formal joint statement right now that's uh, just posted by the President of the Republic and Prime Minister of Finland on Finland's uh, NATO membership. I just have it on my computer here. So I'm just going to read uh, a part of this, uh, if not all. So it reads thus, uh, during this spring, an important discussion on Finland's possible NATO membership has taken place. Time has been needed to let Parliament and the whole society establish their stands on the matter. Time has been needed for close international contacts with NATO and its member countries, as well as with Sweden. And we have wanted to give the discussion the space it required. It goes on and says, now that the moment of decision making is near, we state our equal views. Also for information to the parliamentary groups and parties, NATO membership would strengthen Finland's security. As a member of NATO, Finland would strengthen the entire defense alliance. Finland must apply for NATO membership without delay. We hope that the national steps still needed to make this decision will be taken rapidly within the next few days. Um, now, so and th that's that's the gist of it. So that as it's quite extraordinary the speed at which this has moved, as we've been discussing. And of course, uh, what this will mean for Russia is it puts NATO right at its doorstop. I mean, really, this this has been the problem and the the trigger for Russia invading Ukraine. And now the problem will be how Russia will respond to this. Yes, and, and we've had a lot of discussion over the last few days about, uh, you know, we've heard from President Biden saying that he gets a sense that President Putin is boxed in by his actions uh, in Ukraine, that because they're not successful, he doesn't see an off-ramp. And this, uh, Finland and Sweden joining NATO, and I think, you know, just let's just analyze one second what we've heard there from the president and the prime minister. This is them saying this is the right move. We know that about three quarters of the population here agree with that. I spoke to somebody in the prime minister, uh, an MP within the prime minister's party just yesterday, and he told me he thought that when it comes to a vote in parliament next week of 200 members, that at least 180 would vote in, in favor of joining NATO membership. There are a couple of small steps to go, but this was, I think this is the very big and significant announcement given everything else we know. We know that the Prime Minister's party on Saturday is expected to uh, make its decision, but very clearly that the decision is going to be to support NATO membership. On Sunday, we're expecting the uh, five-party coalition that runs the country to make their um, decision about NATO membership, again expected to be on the same track. The Foreign Affairs Committee expected to present their paper early next week and a formal vote by the Parliament next week. Um, and, and yes, this will, um, this will realize uh, President Putin's fears in his mind. Of course, this is not an action against Russia. The uh, Finnish president was keen to state that last night. This is, a, this is an action for Finland's security. It's not an action against anyone, he said last night, and that means Russia. But for President Putin, um, he will see the reverse effect of the reason why he went to war in Ukraine. NATO now doubles the length or is likely now to double the length of its border with Russia. And for President Putin trying to find an exit strategy that he can sell to Russians um, for his, uh, as he calls it, a, a special military operation, a war in Ukraine. Um, the failure to keep NATO at bay in his terms, uh, and in fact the increase of NATO's presence in his terms on Russia's border is going to be an even harder sell. How Russia reacts to this um, is what concerns Finland at the moment. Um, uh, and, th and this is what we've heard talking to people on the streets here, isn't it? All right. Uh, Nick Robertson joining us live from Helsinki. Uh, many thanks. Appreciate that.